Another week, another loss. Una Amri, I'm coming for your job. Just kidding, just kidding. We, we, dude, we missed like five sweaties the whole game. I can't, Gwen Doozy again, putting in a performance. Shaka can't start. We just can't, can't be doing that. Iwobi, I'm not mad. He scored. Like, how can you be mad? So, like, you know, uh, check another good game. I don't know what to say. Like, God damn. Oh, my God. It's all good. It's all good. Torreya, he came on, did great again. Lacazette looked good. He looked good. He, he was running. He was putting a good shift, you know. But he, they got to start. Like, we can't. I'm just so. I don't even know who we play next week because I'm just. Two weeks, zero points. Every other team's got points. <sighs> it sucks for this week. Bellerin played all right, you know. <sighs> Socrates, eh, you know. Mustafi, you know, two bad goals, two bad goals we conceded. We don't want to see that. We'll do better next week. Well, good game today, to be honest. Uh, the main thing we need at the moment is patience. We all need to stick together and support the team. The thing I liked most here when Ozil wasn't performing, we needed to had some tactical change. He took off Ozil and brought on another player. So keep it up, guys. Shakes from Billy here from South Africa. Arsenal playing against Chelsea today. Funny enough, we lost, but I'm very proud of the way we performed. There were many chances that we missed, and I think we're improving. And it's very important that Arsenal fans just stick by the manager and keep supporting. West Ham is next, and I think we're going to get a great result. Pick up you Gunas. <laughs> I just want to say, real quick, um, I know we lost today, but give Emery time. Give him time because it's two games in. Two games in. But both games we played quite well. But seasons ago, well, last season, two seasons ago, when Vingo was in charge, if we, if we was 2 0 down at Chelsea, we'd have lost 4 0, 5 0. But no, 2 2. Yeah, we got, we, got, we, got, you know, we got unlucky in the end, but City as well, we didn't, we didn't play that bad. I think we played well quite well. Just them two goals, it doesn't matter who you had in goal. You could have had Noya, you could have had Buffon goal, you know. Um, just one of them things. But I'll give him time. You know, I said from day one, our first, I think, our first three points of the season will come against West Ham. That's what I said from day one, and I think it will be. I think we'll beat West Ham. Maybe, you know, but I think, you know, Bellerin had a good game today, played very well. Poke, you know, a few crosses in the box. Maybe he's laying off Leek Steiner, you never know. Then we don't know what goes on in training, but um, yeah, the, the improvements are definitely there. The improvements, you know, things are getting better slowly. It, nothing happens overnight, you know, it takes time. But um, yeah, you know, it's give him time. You can't just, you gotta give, you gotta give him any job at least. You gotta give him a while. I mean, you could see, he's done nothing in the first season. Second season, now look with Guardiola. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I, I must say our performances were good, defensively we were solid. We were better defensively than we've ever been last season. Uh, so Curtis was good, Mustafi was good, Bellerin was amazing. And I don't understand why people are criticizing him. Montreal was good. Um, uh, Gondosi, amazing talent. Uh, Torreira, ever solid. Um, Ozil. Uh, also, was really it was a poor performance from him, and he had to show in that game that he is a leader and that he deserves to have the captaincy. And unfortunately, he didn't. But Aaron Ramsey, um, Aaron Ramsey did good in his replacement. So I must say that it was um, it's really poor from our fans because we performed amazing today. It's just that it was not enough. So I think I still think we will make this top four. That's a definite. We will make. This I'm really annoyed today. Super, super annoyed because Chelsea got struck so lucky, so lucky, and their fans are going crazy, thinking they're going to win the league. Yeah, but you know, where are they ten years ago, really? Where are they? If it weren't for Roman and all their money, Roman could have chose another crap club in London like Fulham, but he didn't. He chose Chelsea, and he would have followed Fulham otherwise because you glory hunters out there just love it. You just love it. Just love it. Enjoy it. Enjoy your win, but you're doing nothing this year. You are terrible, Chelsea. You are really bad. That defence was open. Embarrassing you were today. But we take the positives and move on, don't we? 